Howdy. Part of my research attempts to use one of the most abstract ideas in mathematics, category theory, and chemistry. Take, for example, a chemical reaction network. Here I depict electrolysis of uh, water to make oxygen and hydrogen gas. It possesses three species, H2O, H2, and O2, as well as a transition epsilon. Now, it turns out that these reaction networks can be viewed as graphs called petri nets. And this petri net corresponds to this reaction network. In an attempt to generalize reaction networks, Tobias and Pollard developed the notion of an open petri net, which is a petri net with extra structure. In this figure, the extra structure is depicted by the boxes X and Y. We can view open petri nets in a category where the objects are finite sets, such as X and Y, and the morphisms are basically open petri nets. We can glue and stack open petri nets on top of each other, and in so doing, create what is known as a symmetric monoidal category. Now you may ask, how can this help the chemistry? One possible answer is this. There are many databases of reaction networks in their petri nets, which are studied empirically by computationally seeking patterns within this data. Together with collaborators, we provided theorems to explicitly decompose open petri nets, such as this one, into smaller portions, which we hope we will, will aid in the classification of these databases. Thank you for your time.